Well hello and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. We're at Simpsons of Great Yarmouth and they very kindly allowed us to film some of their used and nearly new motorhomes and camper vans and we thank them for that indeed we are very much appreciating it. I've got a, a little camper van here if you're looking for a camper van on a lower budget this time I found just the thing for you. Let's take a look. Well here we are, £26,000 will purchase this lovely little auto sleeper camper van. Now it's a 58 plate, so that's a 2009, 2008-2009 uh, and uh, it's on a Peugeot uh, chassis, so it's going to be a manual box. It's on a, um, looks like a fairly uh, medium wheelbase and it's the auto sleeper symbol. Now, uh, nice canopy with an LED light over the door, a big sliding door. I'm now gonna slide that open and hopefully the alarm won't go off, he says. Now this looks nice and clean and tidy inside. A quick look just now and uh, again, they Simpsons uh, don't normally stock these uh, older vans but um, I think the reason perhaps they've got this one is because it is so clean and tidy. Um, the cab is uh, pretty much as you would expect it to be. Uh, nothing much changed about the, uh, the Peugeot cabs over the years but uh, they've all run the test of time. I don't see any cab blinds um, on this one but there is a curtain to pull across to keep the warm in the back of this uh, van. Uh, I can't be sure. Looks like the seats swivel. Uh, I think they do. Uh, there's a different mechanism on the older vans and I think they're a swivel seat so you can turn the seats around. Um, which is always good. Storage above which we uh, tend to see in the newer models. Um, but this time you've got another little letterbox storage right at the top here. It's quite a high top on this. Um, striking actually how much room there is up here above my head. Um, got a little rail here look with uh, some storage up there. I'm not quite sure what, sure what you put there. But uh, coming down we've got already got a little Abtex 10-inch uh, TV on the wall here. Complete with the, with the buttons and the controls. Uh, so obviously this little lounge area that uh, you're going to sit and look out of your big window or sliding door uh, when you're out in the wilds camping this little area makes up into your double bunk and uh, a nice opening window to the rear here as well which has got the privacy glass in it now what have we got for cooking Ge very generous uh, as a general rule these auto sleepers so you uh, have given us a four burner, sorry, three gas burner and one electric ring on the hob, which for a camper van is uh, pretty good. And then separate grill with a grill pan in there and oven below, which I think is an, a side opener. There we are. So we've got the, uh, the oven below. Okay, and then below that you've got storage for your pans. And moving back along the van here, we're almost at the back of the van now. This is not uh, an extra long wheelbase, so uh, um, it's quite compact, but extremely good use of space here. You've got a nice sink and drainer with a little bit of worktop at the end as well. So uh, as a bonus, before you get to the barn door here, which incidentally uh, has got a nice curtain to pull across. Um, no blinds, as I say, this is an earlier model, so the window blinds didn't uh, weren't fitted at that time. But uh, coming up, look at that! Look, <laughs> you already got your plates and cups. How amazing is that? Look, they all got little slots they fit into. That's auto sleeper for you, um, and they're all look as if they're all there. Um, another nice cupboard above. Uh, again, little um, little shelf at the top there, as well as uh, the main cupboard. I don't know what we've got in this one. Let's have a look. Ah, little letterbox type cupboard there. 
Now, my reckoning is you could like lay your, si your uh, cornflakes sideways in there easily. Not that you'd want to do that. That one's slightly narrower, uh, but of the same type. Some electrics at the back here with a 12 volt and a 230 volt uh, mains plug, and it uh, looks like a uh, uh, temperature uh, control there for the heating. So what have we got to my right? Uh, a little bit of a sideways shuffle in this corner, but we do have a very nice washroom in the back corner here. You don't always get the luxury of a washroom and a little camper van of this size, but uh, we've got a wet room. There's the wheel arch. As you can tell, we're right at the back of the corner of the van here. This is a drop down sink, which clearly will go back into this position here when you're using the uh, loo. And there's a little what we call a bench style loo there. And uh, just above, we've got a little uh, sliding door cupboard and uh, pop-up roof light for ventilation. I do like those in the wet rooms because they do let um, the steam out and uh, you, know, you don't get uh, too much condensation. So a mirror on the side there. So uh, very good to have a nice loo and washroom in a camper van um, of this length. To the right of the uh, washroom, we've got a nice wardrobe space as well. We've got table stored in here, and uh, there's a shelf at the top, hanging rail, and there's the pole for the uh, small table, occasional table, and the chrome pole here just here. And this is the main table that you put up. Good size cupboard that. And then below there, we have. A nice size drawer that comes extends right out. Look at that, excellent. Again, okay, it's lockable so it doesn't um, come open when you're driving along. So that's about it for this little camper van. Really nice. And if you are on a budget and you want to get into the camper van world, you know, straight away without waiting and saving up for uh, one of those squeaky clean new ones this is the chap for you. Nice uh, overhead roof light. Let's go and have a look outside. There we are, auto sleeper symbol. Now there is, uh, I'm mentioned before we went in, that there's the uh, pull out canopy. And then around the back here, there's no bike rack, and there doesn't appear to be a reversing camera. It's all very clean. And then we've got uh, the winter covers on the fridge here. They can come off very shortly. We've almost finished winter. The Truma um, gas boiler cover, and uh, your electric cook-up, and the fresh water filler there. So everything you need. What a bargain. I think that's a lovely little van for a starter. I hope you enjoyed that uh, walk around that little camper van. We thank Simpsons for allowing us to film today and until next time, it's bye bye for now.